All right, this is Ross from Zombie Americana, and you're listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. This is my favorite, like, there's been a good, like, a bunch of good metal bands here, like the Fierce Deity and so on are going to be on my on my listening list. But these right. guys, I don't know, they, they hit a nerve somehow. Awesome. Yeah, it's very interesting stuff. And it, I mean, they're like, they must be really new, because if you look at the Facebook page, they've got like 200 fans or something. But that's why I, I love talking different, you know, we go from, we just did a, one with Twisted, those guys have over a million, to these guys who have 222, but I still like them all. Yeah, and sometimes, like, you know, I remember, the, the, I can't remember, was it the last time that we did it? I can't remember, the bands, like, you know, the, the uh, like, you know, the stream numbers and the Facebook likes could be completely out of whack. Yeah. You know, that you would have hundreds of thousands of streams and then 800 followers on yep. Facebook. And the other way around, have like 10,000, 15,000 people liking you on Facebook and then like 3,000 yep. streams. Crazy. Hey, you are listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. I am Bruce. And this is Rena from the band Silentium. Now a fixed uh, feature in this podcast. And this is Chris. Just <laughs> hanging out, getting kicked to the side. If Trying I, to keep your job. If I, if I still have this work, although I don't get paid for it, Bruce. If I still have this work <laughs> in January... I'll be shocked. But you're still allowed to drink on the job, so there's always that. Yes, drinking on the job is a new company policy, and that's good. <laughs> Even for the interns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still so in. Today, I'm, so I'm still interning. <laughs> yeah, I think I am too, actually. Um, anyway, today we've got Zombie Americana. Something a little bit different, but something really kick-ass, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. I love their stuff. I couldn't believe how much bass was in this track, but not not in a bad way. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. It was so deep. It was just like, holy shit. And a killer and video, too. And that's the thing I like about doing this podcast. We come across all these bands I never would have known about otherwise and can't take off my, my player afterwards. So very cool. Exactly. All right. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Ross Ryan. I'm not sure who he is in the band, but we'll go ahead and grab him and see what he's got to say. We'll find cool. out. Hey. Hey, Ross, how are you? Sorry about that. It was like trying to connect to my Jeep. Yeah, no worries <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm Bruce. There's my partners, Chris and Rena. Hey, hey. Hi, Ross. I knew it was your fault, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I always blame, blame me for every technical issue there is, because I'm the girl. No, no. Oh, the last oh. issue I blamed on myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Um, where are you guys located? Um, I'm in Denver, and the other guy's in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, so pretty far. So how are you managing to write and record during this nonsense by technology? Um, well, actually, we haven't written or recorded anything since um, September of 2019. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, all this, this stuff was all recorded, like, most of it was written back in 2018, to be honest. And it's just, you're just not getting it out. Yeah, we like we got together to write some stuff for like a collaborative thing, and ended up kind of writing this album. And then we just sat on it for like we sat on it for like a year before we started to try to decide what to do with it. What's it like finally seeing it come to life? Um, I don't know. It's interesting, like. I mean, I'm kind of like, I mean, it's old news to me, like the music and everything, like, you know, because it's like a couple years old at this point, but it's good to finally have it out and off my mind. Are you working on any, any new stuff already or? Um, we have like a couple new things that we were messing around with. Um, I think we're going to do, I think we're going to try to do some type of writing trip here in the next few months maybe right after the new year. Gotcha. Chris? Yeah. yeah. So when you guys were um, <laughs> working on this record, obviously you live in different cities. How did you kind of bring that about? Um, well, yeah, Bryce Fox lived in LA at the time and I was still in Denver, but um, he just came to Colorado 
stayed with me for seven days. So we did seven songs. So that's a song a day. And, um, and then we needed three more. So I just went to Nashville for like three or four days and we do a song a day. There's no, there's no burners. They're all used. We didn't have any throwaways. Nice. So did, did oh. you do the production on it? Like, uh, did mm-hmm. you, did, was the production finished for each song at the start of the day and the end of the day? Or did you write the song and then produce it kind of remotely? Yeah, I had to finish the production off in Denver, but, um, you know, we'd get the chunk of it there. Like, you know, the, the chord progression, the beat baseline, you usually start with like a baseline and a, and a beat and then, or a piano progression. And then, um, yeah, just come up with the, it was, it happened really fast. It was weird. So, well, that's a sign of a good writing session. Is it not? I would say, yeah, yeah. it, it definitely, nothing was, nothing was forced. So, so do you have plans to start writing again? Yeah, it's coming up. I think, um, we, like I said, we have a couple, we have a couple ideas and, um, yeah, we'll probably do another album or maybe it'll be an EP or, who knows? You know, we don't have like a an agenda for for it or anything. It just kind of happens when it happens and how it happens. So I know you can't take it on the road now, but is there any uh, looking ahead? Is there any kind of plan to take this on the road when when and if we can get back to normal? Oh yeah, geez. I mean, we wanted to. Um, that was kind of initially the plan was sort of like put together like a band and take it out. And obviously, if the um, if the demand's there, we're down to do it. Or if the opportunity to, you know, tour with a larger artist presents itself, um, you know, who knows when that'll be. Maybe it's a year away. Maybe it's two. Maybe it's never. <laughs> <laughs> Always the optimist. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we'll never know the future at this point. <laughs> no. Yeah. What's, what's the COVID situation like in Denver? Uh, oh, it's it's drastically on the rise. To be honest with you, I actually feel pretty shitty right now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, and you'd be you'd be amazed. Like you can't get a COVID test in Denver. Like you have you you're like waiting a week. Like, oh man! Them. Yeah, so it's it's wild with how like this thing's a pandemic, but you can't get tested for it. Like, it's just crazy. They don't like turn it out quicker. That's so fucked up, man. Yeah. But it did just like our weather just changed drastically from like seventies to thirties yesterday. So, you know, I'm probably just feeling the weather change. Cause I do have like really bad seasonal allergies. So every time it changes, it just like hammers on me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's hope <laughs> that's met- what's going on. I imagine you're like everybody else, though. As soon as you get the sniff, you're like, holy shit. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, yeah, I get like a runny nose and like kind of like a little bit congested. And I'm like, this is it. (laughs) I I, I mean, I already had it once. I had it back in May. So, Oh, wow. wow. You had COVID. Yeah, back in May. Yeah, I was super sick. Yeah. My, my My neighbor... Ha- was diagnosed with it two weeks ago. He said it was just freaking brutal. Yeah, real, real bad. Yeah, screwed me up for like weeks. I was only sick for like five days, but you know the the trickle off of it was like weeks and weeks. Right. Yeah, because this is the thing. Like you know, I, I find it baffling. You know, the public discussion where it's like only this amount of people have died, and this how much influenza kills and blah blah. Because this gives like the impression that the options are death are completely fine. And that's not true, obviously. And, and you know, the, I'm way more scared of, of the after effects of the virus than the actual, like, dying of it. I don't want neurological issues or a fucked up set of lungs. I'm a singer that would mess up my entire identity without killing me, you know? And, oh, and the, sure. Yeah. It's yeah, we- crazy. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just say, yeah, we don't know. It's like, uh, I mean, we might not know the... Uh, the long-term effects of it for 10 or 20 years, like cell phones. We don't know yet. Right. Right. Exactly. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that you're feeling under the weather, but I'm glad you got over it. And apparently since May you have recovered. So you don't like, you're not noticing any, anything messed up with your lungs or your head. <laughs> no, definitely not. That's and if there is, go ahead. No, go ahead, Bruce. 
I was going to ask you, what has been the response to the, uh, I know we were digging it before we got on, we were listening to it and, and watching the video and we dig it a lot, but what has been the response to the, uh, to the video and the music? I mean, people that get into it seem to really get into it and they seem to get it. You know, it's like a, it's like a societal message, you know? Um, and, uh, yeah, see, people are more into it than I thought they would be, I guess it's, it's a tricky time right now to release music, though, as it has been all year. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially so when you can't go out and promote it. I mean, you have to just rely on Internet or the record company or whatever. Yeah, it's just online. And, like, you know, we shot that one music video. And it's like we haven't been together since to do another one. And, um, yeah, so, so I don't know. Like, could it be doing better? Like, probably. But given the circumstances, I, I don't know. Right. Like, but uh, I'm not. I'm not displeased with it. <laughs> well, you gained three <laughs> new fans today. Oh yeah, absolutely. We were yeah, you awesome. Like when we first turned it on, I was like, "Holy shit, this is good!" <laughs> oh wow, thanks. Yeah, really, yeah. I don't. I, I'm sorry, but we're like talking on top of each other again. But yeah, like, uh, uh, I don't know why, but it, it sort of reminded me of, of Cage the Elephant, just so like a really kick ass. But obviously, it's not the same. Music, right. but just had you know something in the production and, and just how the songs were like really well thought out in my opinion and like you know we're, we're heavy metal people but like i listen to a lot of other stuff than heavy metal and this was definitely my favorite find of the day and this is like why i like to do this podcast is to find new stuff oh Your yeah thanks stuff. thanks it was well, uh it was tricky to produce it i don't produce metal or rock I'm like you know a I'm electronic producer pop music hip-hop like so but i played in a rock band i just never like produced it so this was kind of a sort of my first go at that and you know did i do i feel like some of it could have came out better like listening to it after it's out like i think the songs are great i think production wise i learned a lot probably have a lot to learn still about um especially just mixing rock music right that's interesting you know because i was just listening to um <clears throat> sorry i'm watching the video in messenger here the zombies uh, zombies right that's what zombie yeah. americana mm -hmm. and i was thinking to myself i'm an audio engineer i'm a mixer i've been doing it for 20 years and i thought holy fuck that bass is tight man it's like so deep but not overpowering which is which is quite difficult to get done Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Chris. You got anything else? I don't, man. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I, I hope you feel better. And awesome, thank you. And lastly, Ross, can I get you to just uh, can you tell everybody where they can find you if they want to find your music websites? Uh, anything forward slash zombie americana. Awesome. That's easy enough. And you guys are pretty active social media wise. Yeah. Semi, you know, <laughs> we, we put the message out there to not be glued to your screens and your phones. So, uh, right. it'd be, be kind of messed up if we were. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Anyway, I hope you feel better, man. Thank you for taking the time. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah. Be well. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.